You know what's heartening at, uh, about this particular afternoon is that I think before 2007, before the historical performance department got going, an idea of having an afternoon master class with this repertory would simply be impossible. And now, of course, it's not only a master class, it's just pure enjoyment. Um, people who know what they're doing, like what they're doing, uh, and they're willing to share it with us. Sorry, we're running a little bit over. I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say. Uh, we've actually, we started at 4 o'clock, I think, and it's now almost 6. Oh, there's just too much to say. And there's too much, too much good music to listen to, I must say. We finish off with something which is very, very special. It's um, Les Caractères de la Danse. Fantaisie par Monsieur Robel. L'un des 24 ordinaires de la musique de la Chambre du Roi. Yes. Uh, good stuff. 1715. Yeah. Oh, yes, I know this uh, edition. Yes. Now, are we, um, uh, guys, are we working with the original or are we working with. Um... Good, okay. These poor fellows, um, and, and this lovely lady, um, we've got how many hours of rehearsal now, aside from the... the, the three, three. three hours of rehearsal. Mm. Coming up after this. Wow. Um, you're going to hear something interesting. This is a kind of a sampler. Um, it's a kind of a, you know, uh, here are all the, 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 the popular dance forms, folks, and you're going to get little bits and snippets of it all. And what else is it? It's a curious piece, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, is it all rebelle? No, there are bits and bits and pieces. There are little sort of incipits of other composers as well. Yes. And why did he write this piece? Do you know why? Well, it was originally a ballet. Exactly. This is choreography. And why is it so important for us? Well, because essentially, as I say, it's a sampler of everything that was danced at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't forget that um, if Italy sang, uh, so went the, this little maxim, Paris and France dances. Uh, the dance was considered to be probably the most important aspect of, of good social behavior uh, in France. Um, you couldn't be a politician. You couldn't be even a public order. You couldn't even be a clergyman if you didn't know how somehow bodies and arms and the, the physicality of movement. It was very important. Everybody of a little bit of, of, of social standing had to learn how to dance. Uh, yes, very important. Let's hear how it, uh, how it, how it sounds.
think there's just one word. It's splendid. Um, <laughs> splendidly played. Splendidly played. Um, I don't know how difficult you realize it is for two bowed instruments to play in unison. But there were some moments here where it was really quite extraordinary. And I think this, in terms of ensemble work, is very, very impressive. The piece helps, you know. We've actually run the entire gamut of every known dance form in France in the, the first half of the, of the 18th century. Uh, and it's brilliantly done. The tempi are extraordinary. But there's also some extraordinary thing, too, which sort of ties up perhaps what we've done today as well. It's sonat or sonata. Um, this is the great, wonderful thing about the 18th century. We, we, it's the beginnings of that awful, monstrous word we call nationalism. Uh, it begins actually as much in the arts as it does in politics. Um, the separation was desired by the French to be as far away from the Italians as possible, and the Italians took the French to be just snobbish, arrogant human beings, which of course they are in many ways. Um, <laughs> But the fact is, the irresistible aspect of Italian, what I call motor music, uh, was too much. And already, by the 1670s and 80s, we're essentially talking about les goûts réunis. That's to say, the tastes that come together. Um, the Italians, are, they win out. Uh, because virtuosi uh, playing, playing fast and furious and wonderful, which is Italian, was just too much for the French. They had to accept it, as they did um, in vocal music as well. Um, it's a marvelous way of ending off this afternoon. We have French dance music, and then we've got the Italian sonata, which comes in and sort of essentially has the last word, which is curious. Thank you very much. Um, I just really, I, it's again to say that the the level of competence, the, the level of uh, just understanding, and, uh, and also the love that they can contribute to you through this understanding of what they're doing is simply overwhelming for me, really. I'm, uh, I'm proud to be part of it. Thank you, everybody.